Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Okay, I know the tennis interest around Geneva Bouchard has dwindled, but today a competing junior player who strings at a local shop in Miami reached out to me and I found that the setup she's using quite interesting. So thanks to Joshua Roseman for the information. We will get to the setup soon, but first of all, what really happened to Bouchard? In 2014, as you might remember, she reached two semifinals, the Australian Open and the French Open, and the Wimbledon final. She became a huge tennis star, and according to the excellent YouTube channel Cult Tennis, her stardom kind of became her fall. Uh, she featured in Sports Illustrated, worked as a presenter on TV, got plenty of sponsorship and modeling gigs, but her tennis suffered. And today, seven years later from when she broke through as a 20-year-old, she is ranked 333 in the world. This is quite a difference from her career high ranking as number five. Overall, she's won one singles title in her career and collected close to $7 million in prize money. Is Bouchard's career over? No, she has recently gotten over a shoulder injury, which might explain the ultra soft and powerful string setup. She did in fact reach a WTA final in 2021 in Guadalajara before the injury, so all hope is definitely not lost. And the sign that she's getting her rackets strong shows that she's in fact training. Okay, so what racket does she use? She uses the V-Core 100 and she strings it with Yonix Rexis Comfort, a soft multifilament string and her tension is very low for such a setup. Uh, 52 pounds for the mains and 50 pounds for the crosses, uh, which will give you a very powerful setup. Is it due to the injury? Maybe, but Bouchard has good hands and touch and relies more on her legs than her power. And it shows that whatever works for you is fine to use. There are always exceptions to the so-called rules of tennis equipment. And I hope you did see my video on Adrian Manorino's crazy low string tension, for example. So let's wish Ginny all the best with her return from her injury. That's all. Have a nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis.